Oh, it's a new year. You might want to give your kitchen or your bath a fresh new look, but those renovations can be really expensive. That's true, but our partner Adam Helfman of HireItDone.com shows you how you can do it in a weekend without blowing your budget. Homeowners can attest that bad hardware can plague a daily kitchen. And while we know that not all kitchen remodels give you the biggest return on investment, by swapping out your hardware, you can get up to an 83% return for your resale. So while you may not be ready to gut your kitchen over the latest trends, there are some easy upgrades that you can do over the weekend. Splurging on your hardware may not be as foolish as you once thought. Here's the smart way to do it. The kitchen in the bath. To guide us through the sea of hardware options, we tapped the expertise of Russell Hardware in Birmingham, Michigan. Let's take a look at some of the unique selections. Kitchen and bath hardware comes in all shapes and sizes, and you might have a unique taste, something like the sea or perhaps something Tuscan like this. Or if you have a really big budget, here are some very high-end choices. So now that you got your kitchen and bath hardware done, a growing trend for your house right now is new hardware for your doors. So if you decide to change the hardware and all the doors in your house, Pay special attention to your front door. Not only will it add value to your house, but it will also enhance your curb appeal. So Adam Helfman is with us. He's brought some great examples. Good to yeah, see you as always. always yeah. yeah. So let's talk about this because I see some we could either I could either give Susan something for Valentine's Day or just one set of knobs for the kitchen. But let's start over here. This is okay. awesome. So hardware is all the rage right now for small home improvements, fixer uppers. And if you want to change the curb appeal of your house, a new front door piece of hardware that can match throughout, you could start with this. Uh, different uh, materials, br brass, nickel, right. uh, all kinds, and can look expensive, doesn't have to be. But you know, the other thing is you can do just this and, and redo the front entrance and then go to the inside when you've got the budget to do it, of right? Of course, that's, yeah. that's the way to, you should do it. Plan it out accordingly, obviously. Okay. That's the best thing. So obviously, Hardware is like going to a toy store for people who love home improvement. Yeah. So like here, if you have a garden room or you want to have a tool room, sure. you have all these unique little knobs that are look like tools. If you're a gardener, kind of cool. unique. But you can dress up and you can change the look of anything in your kitchen yeah. or bath or any kind of room in your house. Mm -hmm. uh, here's the most popular right now. We brought a sample of this. Okay. Obviously, these are knobs and pulls. Right. And these are the most popular colors. So a lot of times people want to uh, color coordinate and try and find brass knobs and brass bowls and vice versa. So that's why we show that. And you can get this very inexpensive and easy to install. And change the whole look of your kitchen. Completely. Right? You buy a new house this spring and all of a sudden you want to make the kitchen look up yep. and kick it up a notch. You can, put them all, you can change all your hardware and people will look at it and like, well, what's something's different? And it does. Right. It gives it a fresh look. Yeah. Here's where you get the bling. So this type of hardware is made by a jeweler. Come on. Each piece That's the is one intricate. I was joking about, but you're serious. That's Yeah. Yeah. Not a, not 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 really expensive, but not super cheap. Mhm. Mm However, I would suggest when you order it, you have it professionally installed cuz you don't want to scratch it. You don't want to do Measure it Measure twice, wrong. drill once. That's a good yeah. idea. So, what's an approximate price range with the bling? So, like this one's handmade. So, yeah. it's in, it could be a couple hundred dollars a piece. Per knob. Yeah. Yeah. So, you got 40, 50 knobs in a house. Yeah. It's only money, Chuck. It's only All right, money. So let's talk about this idea of, of installation because for some people this is daunting or you're changing to a longer handle, you need another screw hole. What do you do? Right. So one of the things that we're really lucky is we have, it's Russell Hardware in Bloomfield Hills. Yeah. They will help you with the thickness and the length of the screws because that's the number one thing people always have a problem with. Is it an inch and a half? Is it an inch and a yeah. quarter? Three quarters, whatever it is. You go there, they've got every size. They will help you. You got the wrong one, bring it back. They'll take care of everything. Mm -hmm. That's the best part. And then here we have the thematic, you know, if you have like a wine room. Sure. It's kind of cool. And specialty interior knobs for every bedroom closet sure. door. You and can change course, the whole house. The, the levers are the new uh, popular way to go. Right. And if you want to go back old school or retro, 
you can go with the Christmas. And are there specials right now? Is this a good time? Yeah, we're very lucky. Um, through the end of January, any purchase at Russell Hardware in Bloomfield Hills is 25% off. Never do they wow. ever do that. So it's start the year off with a bang. Friends and family of Live in the D and Hire It Done, go to Russell Hardware in Bloomfield Hills, get 25% off through the end of the month on your complete purchase. It's worth a trip to the store to take a look at. You know, you get inspired when you go to a store like Russell. So HireDone.com will help you find the right contractor always. And remember, the service is free to you. Just go to HireDone.com, and when you register, you'll receive key questions to ask every contractor before you hire them. And that's good to know. Good to see you again. Always. Thanks. Jason?